Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. On today's episode, I'll be showing you the best clips of 2021. This vehicle came in because the customer says it makes a farting noise. So I got this car and whenever I roll the driver window down, it sounds like somebody's screaming. This vehicle got towed in for a transmission issue and the customer didn't mention anything about the mold. The mechanic said this is happening because the steering shaft is broken after the customer was in an accident. This vehicle initially came in for a burn and smell and because it wouldn't start. The mechanics didn't mention what caused this to happen, but the customer just had the engine replaced with a used one. Customer said he did all the work himself and wants to get a safety inspection done on his truck. A customer got their vehicle towed in because it won't stay running. Come on, get out of there, buddy. Scram! We went right back under. There he goes. One, two, three. I like how the, the hole in the radiator lines up with the hole in the block through the fan. Oh, Damn. This customer's son took his dad's brand new Shelby GT350 for a ride and ended up drifting into a curb. This customer unfortunately ran over a mattress that fell off the vehicle in front of them. The customer said they had another shop install the exhaust on their truck. This truck got towed in because it won't go in a gear after the customer towed it behind his RV. A customer brought in their car for an airbag recall and what the mechanic saw really surprised them.
From what most people in the comments said when this video was posted is that the customer seems to be a ham radio operator. This vehicle came in for a burn and smell, but it ended up catching on fire just before the mechanic could bring it into the shop. Am I gonna fix this car today? This vehicle came in for a clunk of noise, but the customer didn't mention anything about the wet concrete they just drove in. Chevy Trailblazer. Customer does his own work. Installed new suspension components. It says states check suspension. Pulls right when braking. I wonder why. The bolts miss. I can't believe I drove this thing. The customer's concern was that they had a weird noise over bumps, and the mechanic ended up finding this cutting board stuck underneath their vehicle. This vehicle just came in for an oil change, and the mechanic noticed the brake pedal went to the floor. Customer says he changed the oil himself, but now he has a leak. And this customer just replaced his brake pads, but now they're noisy. That's cute. This customer changed their fuel pump themselves on their Cadillac, and besides dropping the fuel tank to change the fuel pump, they cut a hole underneath the seat. This customer's vehicle was unfortunately in a flood, so they got a tow to the dealership for an estimate. And this customer said their vehicle shut off after driving through a puddle. This customer drove 7 miles to the dealership because they noticed their oil light was on and their vehicle was a bit louder than usual. Customer states they hit something while driving on the highway. The customer pulled over right away when the oil light came on and called a tow truck. The customer got pretty lucky because the only damage was to the oil filter. This truck came in because the customer says the engine is making a weird noise, and he also told the mechanics he changes the engine oil every 2,000 miles. Oh, yeah. 
I would uh, be doing this, but yeah. I can reach it now, Tito. I'm a dog person. A customer just bought this brand new Dodge Charger with 12 miles on it, and the salesman ended up crashing it on the way to the gas station. customer's biggest concern is whether or not we can install bucket seats due to air de airbag deployment. He would also like to pay for this out of pocket. This customer declined getting the U-joint to replace the last time it came in for a service. This customer brought in their vehicle because their radio doesn't work after they just installed it themselves. This is one hand. One hand. This customer just had their oil change at a quick loop shop. The shop didn't drain the engine oil, but instead drained the front differential and added another 8 liters of oil to the engine. This vehicle came in because the customer said they could smell engine oil. After further diagnosis, the mechanic found a couple of gaskets to be leaking and found this mess after he removed the valve covers. This BMW hasn't had an oil change since 2009 and around 68,000 miles ago. Customer states vehicle is possessed. Please fix. Well, let's see what's going on. Huh. Well, those are off. The headlights are on. Well, let's plug this back in. Vehicle is indeed possessed.
If your nuts are green like these walnuts underneath the hood of this customer's vehicle, or if they smell like old ground beef that was left in the trunk for a week, you should probably get it checked out. Or you can check out the new Performance 4.0 package from Manscape. It has the right tools for the job with the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, these nuts ball deodorant, crop reviver, and a weed whacker, nose and ear hair trimmer to clean up that jungle you got going on. Or go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off free international shipping and two free gifts when you use promo code JRI20 at checkout. Make sure you always use the right tools for the job. Thanks for watching.